I'm TJ Raleigh. I am a junior at Miller North High School, and I am going to, and I'm going to read an untitled poem that I should probably title at some point. A room of scholars, a brain rotten soldier, the pencil a shackle to one, one's hand shackled to a knife. Pages written in lead, slowly killing the brain. Dead brain, living man, colored pages in red. A debt paid, a debt owed, a dead brain, a man owned. The soldier bled, the soldier bleeds, the words a whisper. A man half giant drags his sword across the battlefield. Only through his regret does he sow the seed in the tilled soil that follows. The tears of the widowed woman of his slaughter grow the crop as if they were her children. But no, these are built of war, of a life not well lived, but struck down by a man half giant, all broken soldier, by his owner, leader, general generally built as a tool of war, or I might suggest that he was grown, grown as the crop behind him does, grown to be a soldier as these crop will, because not only is he the past, the forgotten farmer of death, he is the epitome of man, from now until the end, the end of us, the burning of the crop. A scholar waits for words to move. They dance the page in a rhythm so natural, it comes together like a puzzle. His brain the only one set to the frequency of the page. He's born that way, they said, born to manipulate the only thing humans hold dear, themselves, the recollection of past events they deem important. That's why he was made, built, grown. He is the fruit of our supposed valor, riding the conquest of his forefathers. He is the reaper of man, a cloak of name and date. And he is the epitome of man from now until the end, the end of the scripture. I am the map reader, the gun runner, the user of the sword engraved with the name of my father, my grandfather, and his father before him. My fate does not belong to me. It has been set in stone since the moment that man, years ago, put a diploma in my father's hand. I must choose right or wrong, right or gone, left for dead, a prophecy not met, because I am a man, half giant, scholar of the page.